Hey guys, what's up? My name's Theo. I play middle linebacker for the Hilbers and Hurricanes. That is in the Netherlands. I live in Amsterdam. I'm, I play Euroball. So, yeah, we are currently in the off-season of, of my team. Uh, we just had our last game, not going to the playoffs, last Sunday. So now that we're heading into the off-season for summer for my team, um, Sunday was our last game. You can check out a link there. There's not much footage. Um, the weather and other confounding factors kind of hampered a lot of getting that footage plus. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I got what I got, and it was somewhat salvageable. But with the rain and the fog and just, it was a really awkward day. <laughs> I mean, I was doing chains that day, so I, I realized how awkward everything was. I can't imagine holding a camera like my husband does. So, yeah. How these... How the summer's going to be going is that I am... So how this off is going to be going is the football videos are now being reduced to the Friday video. For sure. I know that sounds weird. But it's for sure every Friday there'll be a video. So you guys going into the weekend can experience some stuff. And I can wrap up how the previous weekend went with stuff here in Europe that's still going on with the AFBN playoffs for Division One and Division Two, and how, I, 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 can, I don't care about the BNL, um, how the ELF is going, or if there's anything big happening with German teams in the mid-levels that I tend to follow and kind of, yeah. Anyways, so that's pretty much what's going to be going on. I'm still going to be responding to comments because football is getting bigger in the States now over summer, so people are watching videos and finding mine and commenting on them. But yes, I play middle linebacker. That's my actual helmet. That is a costume helmet. It's a replica of Carolina Panthers. This is a fan Luke Keekley jersey. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's all that stuff. So we're going to get into football comments. These are foot This is comments related to football. As I do read every single comment, this is why. Because sometimes they're not on football videos, and sometimes the ones on football videos are not related to football. Um, someone named Local Bob um, says, You're one of the best YouTubers I saw, and I play football. It's a very cool sport. I wonder what position. I barfed up a lot of things in that comment. Played middle linebacker. That's on the original football uniform suit up. So, that's a thing. Um, the last practice of the season, which was last Friday's video, um, I gave a detailed answer as to why weather, speaking of which, for that game, was weirdly important. <laughs> and how it can affect the game, or filming, or watching. <sighs> like, things may have been easier if I were to have an umbrella for Aaron, but... I don't know, because then he would have had to juggle holding an umbrella. It, it was just a really it was a good day to play defensive football. Not a good day to try to be filming. <laughs> we did not wear the right clothes, but there was no right clothes for that day. Uh, J. Willie TV, uh, you can check out that channel there. There's also a link below. I know a lot of people don't do the things. Um, I'll put his little thing at the end of this video for a subscribe link. He commented on the game from Monday's video that the song brings him back to high school English class. I don't know which song. I'm taking a while to guess the one that I put over the footage um, rather than the one that was the techno dance song during our after year, end year barbecue. But I don't know. But I did ask him when he played in France, um, did they have stuff like that? And he says when he, when he was there, they partied exactly like we did, but it wasn't for him, which is fine. Some people are much more mind, business, career focused, and don't spend any extra time socializing. That's just how the United States raises some people. Someone commented on May 20th, well, that was a while back, uh, Tetris challenged you football player lifestyle. I'm not going to finish that comment because I know who it is. I've blocked him on other social medias. I'm not. I'm not here for the male gaze. If that makes any sense. Yeah. The, he's the only person that asks for that sort of thing. He wants me to dress up in football gear and stand like a Tetris piece and I or put myself in saran wrap and act like a doll and I just 
won't. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> and I, I, I blocked him on like Instagram, Twitter. Like he's persistent. After a fashion, a lot of people think, oh, you're gay and you play football. You must be <laughs> available for parties. No. <laughs> so I get a lot of those messages and I don't bring them up to you guys. Gross. Uh, Cinco says on the football uniform suit up, you should dress up like this before game day. Fire. Wish I could still suit up. Nice bit. I'm like, you can. There's football teams all over the world. Brazil, Australia, Canada, Russia, Netherlands, like Europe. You can play. I know some teams down in South Africa, Kenya, Ivory Coast. <laughs> There's Mexican teams. There, there's teams. I'm not sure. There's teams in Japan. There's teams in Korea. I'm not. I'm not sure about India, though. I haven't actually checked there, but... <sighs> Hold on, we're going to skip time. I'm going to check that one out. Holy Jesus, there it is. The Elite Football League of India. EFLI.com. It is a professional American football league based in India. It was founded with eight franchises in 2011 and now has 23 franchises throughout South Asia, among whom 20 are located in India, two in Sri Lanka, and one in Pakistan. You learn something every day. Anyways, and then, so yes, that, that answers that question. India, yes. The video assessing the next three months, which is what I'm gonna be doing outside of football season, um, is, he says, there's 20 teams in the Netherlands. That's really good given the population. He says he thinks because he doesn't know. And the fact that Germany has 150 plus for only five times the population. I mean, it, it's, I was like, let's tamp that down. Germany has five times the population, about 12 times the teams. Yeah, it's, there, there are other countries with smaller or larger populations that have significant amount of teams. Like, yeah, it's... Germany is super big on American football. Other countries are too. The Netherlands is not so much. Um, I know that a lot of colleges in the UK have American football. Uh, there's an Irish league, Scotland. <laughs> you know, the Nordics have their own. I mean, Finland has the whole Maple League with like six teams. Seven teams, my bad. Yeah, so they have seven teams and have one-fifth or one-third of the population. So that's about right. But that's, we're getting, we're talking like Europe here. <laughs> yeah, you know, the fact that India has billions of people and has 23. So it, it, it's, I, I don't know what's good and what's bad. I just know that, you know, we're just going to compare the neighboring countries here. But it's... Having 20 teams here in the Netherlands for um, American football is good, but the skill level is so disparate. Um, I've looked at the scores and I've looked at things and I really do think there probably needs to be three levels. <laughs> but the problem is, is then you're, we'd have to get more teams and then you're getting more teams at the lower moving up and it's just really awkward because when you have like 16 functional clubs so eight in the first league eight in the second league um or seven in the second league whatever um and then all the women's teams but then some of those in the lower league are combi teams so two of those teams are actually five separate teams and it's like yeah <laughs> It's like the Pirates and the Eagles merged together and made the Parrots. And then the, the Tilburg Wolves, the Eindhoven Raptors, and the Spikiness Scouts came together and all made the Krakens. But there's like five separate teams that now play as like two teams, so... That's why I say about 20, because then we've also got like five, seven women's teams and all that jazz. That That's pretty much that for comments. In terms of news, let's see, let's, let's look up the 
ELF real fast. Um, I'll stay in and talk. Nope, not that one. ELF football, European League of Football. Let's just do, because they played their first game this last weekend, and I just want the table. Schedule, shop, standings, there we are. Okay, so they have three divisions, the Northern, the Central, and the Southern Conference. Um, in the Southern Conference, Barcelona, Rhein, Fire, Cologne, and Istanbul, Ista everyone won one, and Istanbul lost. That means the Southern Conference is kind of terrifying, <laughs> considering that then again, it's also who they played. Um, Vienna Vikings are in the Central. They won, but Frankfurt, uh, Tyrol, Raiders, Austrian, and Stuttgart Surge all lost. And so that kind of <laughs> opposes that. Um, so that means in the Northern Conference, the Hamburg Sea Devils and the Panthers and the Wroclaw Panthers, uh, Poland, they won their games and the Leipzig Kings and the Berlin Thunder lost. So. <laughs> That's... Like, every team is either 100 or 0 right now because you've played one game. Um, but that's that's how that's going. I understand, but standings at the first or second game in the season is so awkward. Because it's like, <laughs> Hamburg Sea Devils, winning streak of one game. There's been one game. It just looks funny. I understand. But as it goes for later, but it's, you know... Right now, I, I'm kind of doing a little bit of... I have, the two teams I'm kind of going for are Barcelona Dragons, because um, apparently Michael Sam works for them, and then Hamburg Sea Devils, because they are closest to probably my bestest friend in all of Germany, Justin Hans, who lives in Elmshorn, which is up in the north. So the closest ELF team to him is Hamburg. I think he lives closer to actual Denmark than Hamburg, but mm, whatever. <laughs> Let's check that. Elm's Horn. Elm's Horn. Never mind. I'm so off on that one. <laughs> he is a... It's almost a suburb of Hamburg. Almost. But yes. In terms of other news, um, I have been followed back on Twitter by Michael Sam. That was... That was kind of spicy this morning to see that. Um... I followed him a while back because when I saw that he was on with the Barcelona Dragons as their one of their coaches, I was like, oh, well, that's kind of the whole coming back out of retirement sort of thing. And, and it's, it's fine. He's going to find a way better place in Europe as a gay man in the sport of American football than he would have ever in the United States or Canada. Look at you, Canada. You, you're still a little, you got a, a ways to go in comparison to many European countries. But anyways, um, yeah, that's about that. Um, if you have any questions about my summer routine for football, ask them below. I will answer them things. We do have a playoff game for our youth team coming up on the 19th, so in 10 days. And I'm probably going to go to that. But in theory, the next football video will be next Friday on the 17th. Um, and we will see how everything rolls down for that one, and I will answer all your questions.